And let me just introduce myself to start. My name is Kate Nysowitz. I'm the director of MBA studies here at Tennessee Tech. Um, I'm here to talk to you guys about the MBA program at Tech. I don't know if any of you knew this, but the engineering program um, or the College of Engineering actually uh, produces our second largest student population in the MBA program outside of business students. So we really feel that you guys have the ability and the potential to be very successful in this program and that this degree is going to be really applicable to um, any of your future endeavors. So why an MBA for engineers? Um, if you're ever going to be interested in any type of managerial pos position, any type of position that's going to require managing a budget or forecasting, any type of leadership position, if you think you might ever be interested in becoming an entrepreneur, starting your own business, doing any type of consulting work, um, this degree is going to be beneficial to you. It's going to broaden your perspective on non-engineering concepts, things like marketing, strategy, finance, operations, ethics when it comes to business, um, entrepreneurship, and even beyond that. Perks of the program, no prerequisites. This is something I really want to emphasize because it's something that not a lot of our students know about. Historically, this program has only been um, catering toward business majors with a background in undergraduate business. If you did not have a background in undergraduate business, we required that you take some business prerequisites before admission to the MBA program. We have since removed the barriers to entry to this program to open it up to students of all academic backgrounds and disciplines. Um, the reason for this, really one of the primary reasons for doing this is because the MBA is so applicable to any discipline. You could have um, a background in retail or fashion merchandising or engineering, obviously, and find ways to apply an MBA to your career. So for that reason, we felt that everybody should have the opportunity to benefit from this degree program, and we wanted to open it up to um, students of all disciplines. However, um, if you feel like you might be a little weak in certain areas of the MBA, such as accounting or finance, we have some optional prerequisite modules that you can purchase and complete on your own. It'll take you through the basics of finance, accounting, things like that, things that you may not have seen previously, um, and you can have a little bit of a refresher before you actually enter the MBA program. The program's ideal for working professionals. I understand that a lot of times life happens. Um, you finish up with college, you're done with your four years, you get an offer from a company that you really can't refuse and you're really excited to get out in the working world. That's great, it's amazing, um, more power to you. That does not discount you from our MBA program. Um, we'll talk a little bit more about the online option later in the presentation, but the program has really been designed for working professionals so that you can complete your MBA while you're working full time. The program's flexible, it's affordable, and it's accredited. Um, we've got an AACSB accreditation, which is the highest standard of accreditation um, for business schools worldwide. Um, this is just a little bit of a graph that shows where our engineers come from. We get 34% of our student body from mechanical engineering, 24% from industrial engineering. Um, the remainder of the pie chart is made up of chemical, civil, computer, and electrical engineering. Computer engineering, only 3% of you guys. Um, we'd love to have you. Keep that in mind. Um, so this is just showing kind of the disciplines where our engineers come from and where they go. So we've had MBA graduates who are undergraduate majors in engineering go to companies like GM, Goodyear Tire, uh, the Tennessee Valley Authority, Dow Chemical Company, Denso, BAE, um, Cummins, Nissan, uh, Flowserve, Procter & Gamble, and of course we've got some engineering undergrads who got their MBAs and are still here at Tennessee Tech. Um, just a little bit of a testimonial on what some of our engineers say. Todd Reeves um, was a graduate in 2004. Um, he works now in the UT Knoxville Office of Engineering and Professional Practice. Um, he says, when asked, what valuable knowledge did you gain while in the TTU MBA program? 
Well, really, all of the elements of the MBA were key. Gaining a better understanding of the financial side of things, of course, was useful. But probably what I leverage most now are, the more, are more of the marketing concepts, along with human resources and leadership elements. So basically, if you're going to have any type of leadership position, the MBA is for you. If you're going to manage personnel, the HR components of the MBA is for you. If you're going to promote a program at all, as we often do in leadership positions, you're going to want the marketing skill set that this MBA degree can provide you. Um, for example, in the Office of Engineering Professional Practice, how, was your MBA helpful, how has your MBA helped you in your current job? At the time I was working on my MBA, I had already transitioned from an engineering role to a product management role, but the job I was in very, was very focused on machinery condition monitoring. With other career opportunities being far away from Tennessee and very little opportunity to transition to other companies in the local economy, I felt like an MBA would give me the background I would need if I ever chose to search for another similar product management type position in the Knoxville area. So basically, the MBA is going to make you a more marketable candidate. Your under, undergraduate engineering degree puts you on the same playing field as other engineers. Your MBA gives you a step up. It gives you a more rounded skill set, and it is a resume booster. That is true not only for engineers, but anybody of any academic background or discipline. So a couple other student testimonials. Um, we've got some print material up here in these testimonials. You can read in um, our brochures as well. Um, this one talks a little bit about the prerequisite modules and the option to complete some of those. Um, when you are an engineer, you may have a lot less exposure to some of the courses like accounting, finance, um, HR management, things like that. The modules can actually be vital components in getting you up to speed with some of your classmates who are strictly business majors. You can complete them at your own pace. You can complete them while you're working full time um, and you, didn't, you don't need to come to campus. They're self-contained and CDs and you just uh, work on them as you choose. So as I mentioned, outside of our business students, engineers are our largest student population. Um, our on-campus program is designed so that as a full-time student, you can complete it in one year. So if you are here for four years getting your undergraduate degree, you add on one year and you can walk out of Tennessee Tech with two degrees, one of which is a graduate degree. Um, we also offer the option to complete the program 100% online, which is designed specifically for full-time professionals. Um, there is no difference between your online degree and your on-campus degree. Nowhere on your diploma or on your transcripts does it say that you received an online MBA. It is fully accredited with, um, by the ACSB just as the on-campus program is. And um, I just want to reiterate, again, absolutely no differentiation. We have uh, financial aid available. We've got about 15 very competitive graduate assistantship positions that we award in the fall. Um, they span typically from the fall to the spring. There are other assistantship opportunities around campus that will allow you to participate in the MBA program and work in a different department. So if you know of other assistantship opportunities, definitely don't hesitate to pursue those and, um, and mention that you want to uh, participate in the MBA program. Our MBA program was recently featured in Forbes. I don't know if any of you were um, able to look at the article, but we are a Forbes featured Southern Business School. Um, and the MBA was featured as being an outstanding program for working professionals for the reasons that I mentioned before. It is flexible, affordable, customizable, and it um, promotes experiential learning. Classes like the Investment Challenge, classes like the International Experience, provide some experiential learning opportunities for our MBA students. We utilize a lot of simul simulations in our marketing classes and in our capstone classes that actually put you in a situation where you are managing a company and you will see what real-time decisions do to your company's bottom line. So with regard to being placed in real-life situations and seeing results, our program can offer that. If you didn't want to pursue a general MBA, we have the option to uh, concentrate in accounting, finance, international business, human resources, um, management information systems, or as I mentioned, just the general MBA. 
We've got international experience trips available. Studying abroad is something that's really important to you. This December we are going to Brazil. Um, we'll be spending about a week in Sao Paulo and Rio um, studying the economy, and that is an option that's open to all MBA students. We've also got professional development event, uh, events that are going to help you to transition between student to professional. Um, you can visit the College of Business Student Success website to see some of those. It's at uh, cobstudentsuccess.com. What you need to get in, the ever important information. Um, we do require a GMAT or a GRE. Satisfactory scores would be a 450 on the GMAT or a 146 verbal, 150 quantitative on your GRE. Um, a minimum 2.5 GPA in your formula score or index score needs to be 1,000 or above. The formula for that is GPA times 200 plus your GMAT score. In nearly every circumstance, if you meet the min minimum requirements on your admissions exam and your GPA, your index score will be high enough, and then we also require one recommendation letter. Important dates and deadlines. Um, is anybody graduating in December? Awesome, congratulations. How about in May? May graduates? Okay, great. Um, our deadline to apply for the spring, if you wanted to start your MBA program in the spring, is November 1st for U.S. students. We will accept uh, documentation up through December 10th. So if your application is completed online and your fee is paid and you wanted to wait a little bit longer to take your admission exam, we will accept test scores and such things through December 10th. Next fall, if you're graduating in May and you wanted to start next fall, the deadline for U.S. applicants is going to be July 1st, and we will accept, doc accept documentation through August 10th. For international students, your deadline to apply is just a month sooner. However, if you're extremely ambitious and you graduate in May and you want to start in the summer, awesome, more power to you. We'd love to have you. We will accept you in the summer as well. So any semester that you are ready to start, we are ready to have you. So, in conclusion, thank you guys so much for attending. Thank you for your time. Um, we've got a couple of student, uh, College of Business student ambassadors here down front. Ladies, if you'll just raise your hand. Um, they are available to talk about some of the opportunities that stem from being in the College of Business family. We've also got a couple of MBA students, and they're sitting way back there. Guys, wave. Um, they can answer any questions that you might have about the current curriculum or the program, um, I would invite you to have some more ice cream because we clearly have plenty of it and enjoy your evening. Just talk amongst yourselves. Um, and we are also available for any questions. Angie Denson is our administrative assistant. She's extremely knowledgeable about the MBA program as well. Um, feel free to come grab some print material and uh, we're available for any questions that you might have. Thank you. <laughs>